Well, today we're going to be talking about Andrew Tate, or as everybody likes to call him, Top G. Why is he so popular? Why has he been everywhere? Well, there's several factors and several reasons. We'll start with the most simple, it, the flex, the things he shows that he has, his Bugatti and his house and the lifestyle he lives. But a lot of that was fake to begin with. You rent these items, you pretend to have them, and then you're, you're pushed in the algorithm as if you're somebody that has these things. Well, why would somebody even do that in the first place? You don't get monetized right away. Well, there's when you finally do get the monetization, the type of content you have plays an effect on your AdSense revenue. So each view is worth, you know, more or less depending on what you're talking about or what you have in your videos. So videos with Bugattis, Lamborghinis, McLarens, you know, those kind of cars, um, bags, different luxury items, those do really well. Watches, that, all that stuff gets you a higher like click, uh, click rate, you know, not click rate, uh, money per click. So it was very lucrative for a time in YouTube, mainly around 2016 to 2018, where it was very profitable to flex these certain luxury items. The second factor of what got him everywhere is he ran an affiliate program where people were encouraged to post videos with, with him and them with a link to Hustlers University uh, where they would make a cut like $5 off that person for signing up but Andrew Tate was getting like $50 off of each person every month for being a part of that. So he was raking in a lot of cash. And also the way it was set up, people were posting his videos everywhere. For your videos to be posted everywhere, it doesn't matter if you're not getting ad revenue off those videos, you become like a mainstay. Everybody's seeing you, you're unavoidable. And so naturally your own videos, your own content, which people are going to clip, to try to get the same views that other people are getting from uh, spam posting pretty much. They're gonna go back to your channel and then you're gonna get views from people clipping. That, that's how his systems work. Now guys, these things are evil, right? Like worshiping, you know, goods and merchandise as a, as a standard of how like wise a person is. There's rich people out there that are, you know, not being rude, dumb as a box of rocks. And there's poor people out there that are super smart and knowledgeable. They just don't. Opportunities. Opportunities are different for everybody. And certain things that we're called to do in this life might not gain us worldly well. That's that's why I want to talk to you guys about Andrew Tate, right? The Bible tells us not to chase after worldly things, to be separated from worshiping mammon. Because when, when our lives are about chasing money and acquiring, acquiring worldly wealth, it separates us from the mission that God set us on. And that's looking out for people who don't have worldly wealth or worldly things. Right, the, the very nature of acquiring that stuff is to put yourself around other people that have it. Well, you can't can't do that and then go be around poor people because that makes you look bad and then you're not in that group anymore. So this is the reality of it's harder for, for a camel to fit through an eye of a needle. I mean, it's easier for a camel to fit through an eye, eye of a needle, sorry you guys, than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. We want you guys to watch out, don't fall for these deceptions, and have a blessed day.